This is All India Radio. The news read by Sanjeev Barua. In Bangladesh, at least 124 workers have been killed in a fire which engulfed a garments factory overnight at suburban Ashulia in Savar, 30 kilometers away from Dhaka. Confirming the toll, a local fire service official on the spot told All India Radio Dhaka correspondent that the process of recovering more bodies and handing them over to the relatives is on. He added that some more people are reported to have died as they jumped off the eight-story building after the fire broke out. According to local eyewitnesses, the fire broke out last night and quickly engulfed the ground and first floors of the six-story building, causing the worst fire tragedy in recent years. Bangladesh President Zilu Rahman and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and leader of the opposition Khalid Azia have expressed profound shock at the loss of lives. The Prime Minister has also announced a financial assistance of one lakh taka each for the next of the victims. Sri Lanka and Iran have agreed to divert payment of unpaid fuel bills to Iran for funding the Tehran-aided Uma Oya Irrigation Project. Sri Lanka's Secretary to Irrigation and Water Resources Management Ministry says the arrangement has been done since Sri Lanka cannot remit funds to Iran due to sanctions imposed by the United States. The Secretary said that Sri Lanka has to pay Iran 2 billion rupees for fuel purchases. In Gujarat, a record 988 candidates have filed their nomination papers on the last day of filing of nomination papers for the first phase yesterday. With this, the total number of nominations for the first phase polling of 87 assembly constituencies has reached 1,534. Surat East Assembly Constituency has registered 44 nominations, highest in the first phase. Nomination papers will be scrutinized tomorrow, while the last date for withdrawal is 28 November. Polling for 87 assembly seats in 14 districts of Saurashtra and South Gujarat and four seats in Ahmedabad district will be held on 13 December. Nomination papers for second phase of polling can be filed till 38 November. Voting for this phase will be held on 17 December. Meanwhile, electioneering has gathered momentum in Saurashtra and South Gujarat with ruling BJP planning 55 public meetings today. The country's wheat production is likely to touch a new record this year. Indian Council for Agricultural Research has said improved spot soil moisture due to late monsoon rain and early winter would boost crop prospects. Speaking to media, ICAR Director General S. Ayapan said wheat production stood at a record of 93.90 million tons in 2011-12 crop year, June-July. Mr. Ayapan expressed the hope to harvest a record output of wheat if the temperature does not rise abruptly in February-March. A correspondent reports, at present, sowing is underway in wheat-growing states. The chairman of the National Minorities Commission, Wajahut Habibullah, has urged for strengthening civil administrative network in rural areas at the panchayat level. Speaking at the Rajendra Prasad Memorial Lecture in New Delhi, he stressed the need for increasing efficiency of delivery of public services in villages. He also urged for providing adequate manpower in rural areas so that benefits of democracy reach the people at the grassroots level. Yom Ashura is being observed today to mark the martyrdom of Imam Hussein, grandson of Prophet Muhammad. Tazia processions will be taken out at various parts of the country to mark the day. In Delhi, Tazia processions for different places in the capital will culminate at Karbala. And that is the end of this news bulletin.